Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Excellent Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about ubiquitinated and de ubiquitinated P53 functions and pathways as well as MDM2 mediated P53 ubiquitination. Let's begin. So, as you know, that the P53 is a tumor suppressor protein, and in normal case, the expression of the P53 in the cells it's very low. But when DNA damage occurs, so upon DNA damage, P53 get activated and it uh, activates other proteins like P21 and other um, apoptotic proteins and um, it under the cell undergoes apoptosis as well as the cell cycle arrest occurs. So what happens here in the P53 uh, ubiquitination and de-ubiquitination? Let's have a look. So first when the P53 get activated, when P53 get activated and its expression is go high, then it activate MDM2 proteins. So MDM2 actually it is the negative uh, regulatory protein of P53. So when MDM2 expression is go high, then there is one ring domain in MDM2. So ring domain, ring, ring domain. And the ring domain of the MDM2 is responsible for the P53 mono-ubiquitination. So as you see here that mono-ubiquitination of the P53 occurs. So as you know that the ubiquitination is for any target protein for the proteasomal degradation. So uh, what happens in the P53 ubiquitination? Actually in the P53 the normally the ubiquitin is a small proteins around 76 amino acid and it attaches in the lysine residue lysine residue but it attaches in different proteins in different uh, lysine residue but it has been found that for the p53 um, the ubiquitin uh, it attaches in the k48 and k29 in these two lysine residue so first is poly first the mono ubiquitination occurs so ubiquitin attached in this amino acid residue and then uh, later the poly ubiquitination occurs so poly ubiquitination means like is there are four or more ubiquitin proteins it bound in the lysine residue so it target so this target protein it's recognized by the by the proteasome 26 and then proteasomal degradation occurs of the target proteins so here so this is the so this is the polyubiquitination uh, in the k48 as i as i uh, showed here so in the k48 amino acid residue this four or more ubiquitin attached here and then after that this 26 uh, proteasome is recognized and then degradation occurs so this is how P53 degraded um, by P53 um, uh, by the uh, MDM2 proteins. So here, so then uh, this P53 protein um, it degraded, but there is another mechanism that is the when DNA damage occurs. So upon DNA damage, then there are some proteins like. Uh, like de ubiquitinating enzymes or these proteins de ubiquitin de ubiquitinating proteins it de ubiquitinate of p53 that is targeted and that is ubiquitinated so that is de ubiquitinated by the deubs proteins or de ubiquitinated proteins and consequently this p53 is phosphorylate and activated so also there are some acetylation occurs, um, acetylation of the P53 occurs for um, the activation of the P53 and then P53 it, uh, it regulate the transcription of the P21. So as you know that the P21 is the, in the P21, uh, um, in the promoting, um, in the factor there is a P53 binding site. 
So in the P P21 promoter, there is P53 binding site. That's what P53 it uh, regulate P21 transcription. So then P21 is get activated by the P53, and P P21 it inhibit uh, G1 G1S cell cycle progression. So cell cycle or um, cell cycle arrest occurs into on G1S uh, in this checkpoint. And also P53 when get activated, then also it activates other proteins, other apoprotic proteins like Bax and also Puma. So Puma is the P53 upregulated modulator of apoptosis. So those proteins are when when uh, activated, then cells uh, goes undergoes uh, for apoptosis. So this is how P53 um, works. So the main theory behind it that that when p53 get activated by the DNA response and when it's uh, its expression is go high then the MDM2 proteins MDM2 proteins that get activated so when its um, its level is go high then it is get activated and when it's get activated then MDM2 what it does it it inhibit p53 function and it uh, start ubiquitin start ubiquitination of the p53 and then the proteasomal degradation occurs so this is the uh, regulatory feedback mechanism and again when this p53 when um, it's uh, degraded or is ubiquitinated and again when DNA damage occurs and then this kind of DUB proteins it de-evacuated the P53 and it get activated again so this is how it works so I want to show you that another uh, slide that in precisely that what I said that here this is the normal condition so in the normal condition uh, the MDM2 content ring domain and this ring domain is responsible for the P53 ubiquitination. So P53 poly ubiquitination occurs and proteasomal degradation occurs on the P53. But when uh, stress occurs or like DNA damage occurs, then P53 get activated by the de-ubiquitinating enzymes or proteins. So then P53 get activated and MDM2 this protein's uh, function is lowered so again p53 it's um, um, it it block the cell cycle and cell undergoes apoptosis so again another again the next followed by the p53 again is um, is depletion occurs and then again mdm2 ring domain it's um, of the MDM2 ring domain, it start ubiquitination and then decretion occurs again. So this is um, this cycle, it occurs like in the feedback mechanism. So this is how this MDM2 and uh, P53 it it uh, works together. So this is all about this ubiquitination and, and deubiquitination of the P53. So I hope this video will be helpful. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share it and please subscribe my channel. Thanks.